guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and welcome back to After Hours. This is the chill segment. I always record this when a tri-series ends and I don't get tier 5 because After Hours didn't happen last time because I got tier 5 in the Continental Finals. So, my man, I was asleep like 4 hours before it even ended. Like, I didn't even care. But, uh, yeah, today we're filming After Hours. It's pretty chill. You guys can swear. I really don't give a shit. But, like... Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a series where we guess what the next prize car is gonna be. Obviously, we just had a rerun with the PP, so uh, we are now thinking if uh, Hutch doesn't throw a second curveball at us, because obviously the Continental was a curveball. That was supposed to be a rerun, but we got two new cars in a row. But if the trend continues in the normal fashion that it has been, we should be getting a one timer, a car that we've never seen before, and I think it's gonna be Uncle. That's gonna start us off with your uh, Tri Series price card guess, isn't it? Uh, and that the is the 208, the 208 WRX. That is right, the 208 Subaru WRX. Oh, sorry, hold on, <laughs> it's not a Subaru. <laughs> um, so <laughs> why, why do you it's think? It's so much better than a Subaru. Every <laughs> <laughs> Subi boy piss. My favorite moment is still like when Dimitri had that coffee, the coffee stream, and like someone in the chat was just like, "Hey Hutch, can you remove Super from the game, please?" <laughs> it was so innocent, and then like two seconds is later, is it already removed from the game? <laughs> Nobody uses it. <laughs> and like two seconds later, when the person said that, Leo was just like, "Excuse me," and that was like all he said. <laughs> so I needed to say. Oh my god, we are really starting off this video shooting shots at him, but yeah, anyway, uh, 208 WRX, why, why do you think they're gonna give this car out? You think ER, it's time? Because they're, uh, it just seems like it, we're due for another off-roader. Even though we just did the Pikes Peak as a rerun, I think they're gonna want to put out a good, strong, new off-roader. That's fair. I mean, honestly, like, ER, 1.90 to 60, like, what the hell is that? And obviously, like... Off road and like all surface tires is is a huge difference. Like this, this is probably going to be the Pikes Peak on a lot of things, don't you think? Uh, on off road, I think so. I on think, off road, definitely. I think people they want to put a car that people are going to chase again, and I I think this will be the one because we had a pretty good dry spell for like rally cars. Yeah, to be fair, the last one was mm -hmm. the Dakar, right? Nine five nine. Yeah, and it's not even that great. That's true. That was a long well, time ago. What's hey, I'll, I'll, def I'll defend that car. It is the only, um, like, good high ground clearance off-road tire four-wheel drive. I guess the high ground clearance is a niche, right? But, like, only yeah, for right. one. Uh, okay, throw cross. it on the hill climb. It's good. Yeah. Or hill climb, <laughs> yeah. What's <laughs> insane about this car, though, is that stock, it has the same 0-60 to 60 as a maxed out 332 Demon. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> that's scary, and yeah. To be fair, on, when it comes to off-road, but it's tracks, also gonna it's have gonna the. Like, it's gonna M MRA is gonna be like four. Yeah, what? <laughs> what <is it> <laughs> yeah, yeah MRA is gonna be backwards. Do you want me to accelerate? <laughs> yeah, and the top speed is like zero as well. To be fair, but like, yeah, this is gonna be a really good car. And for some reason, when I look at it, all I think of is fish fillet. Filet fish, no, not fish filet. Filet fish. I don't know why. The moment you said filet fish on the side, all I think about is the filet fish now. How it's just like the square <laughs> fish with like cheese and like. It's so honestly. good though. I it, it, it's it's so it's so good as an extra treat with your burger. <laughs> so do you not get fries. No, you just shrimp get two of those. No, I get the whole combo and then the filet fish on the side. Oh, so it's like a dessert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so that's our first guess. So locking in, we have Uncle on the Peugeot 208 WRX. Who's next with any guesses? Does anybody have any guesses right now or not? I'm ready. Oh, I'm Android, ready. our import. Let's go. What you What you think? <laughs> first of all, I want to tell you my order on McDonald's. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. What is your order on McDonald's besides the filet o fish? I, I order a filet of fish meal, right? And then I order another filet of fish on the side. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. I mean, I like filet of fish, but I don't know about two at once. <laughs> Sometimes I just order three filet of fish to just sides. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Have you ever tried Anyways, like combining your filet of fishes together? So I have two filet of fishes between one bun? No, that would be really f good, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you need to try that, then, dude. <laughs> Under the sea. Okay. Anyway, what's your what's your guess besides the filet of fish? Yeah. What what car uh, resembles the, the filet of fish? 
the 93 RQ donkey. 93 donkey. Is that the one with the, the doors or, or not? I you went past it. I did. Oh, this. There it is. Okay. That's a pretty good one as well, actually. Donkey D8 GTO 40. It would be funny if they made the requirements ER again and then, like, wait to skew towards, like, Donkey Boards. They wouldn't do that. But, like, can you imagine? That would not be ER funny. Again? No, it would you not. You never know. <laughs> It's, it's cool though, because I feel like we're back in open waters because ER was, you know, a couple months ago now and, you know, we're gonna get all these like weird... Actually, I do not like open waters because you know what that means, right? The requirements are gonna be convertibles. Oh god. <laughs> oh no, oh no, no, no. 2010 no. convertibles. convertibles. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I would... You're, you're probably got a strong point. I bet it will be convertibles. It could be. <laughs> What have we but not like, seen yet? It could be like GR four -wheel convertibles. drive convertibles. There you go. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, oh, oh please. No, I'm scared. <laughs> that sounds pretty gross. We, not gonna we, lie. we did have that convertible finals, which was all rain, right? I don't remember, did we? I think so. Honestly, we whenever lose. there's a convertible finals, I just disappear. So, you know, you guys have fun <laughs> if it's going to be convertibles. It could be GR, because we've had IR convertibles. It's not going to be ER. American Dream only has the Grand Sport as a convertible. And that's it. <laughs> French Renaissance is not much, so. four wheel drive. It's low end garbage. Um, it was but funny. Top end's good. Top end for what? Four wheel drive convertibles. Oh, four wheel drive sure. convertibles. I can only think of the nine. But it's low end is garbage. Okay, but yeah, Android, Too the Dockerboard D8, why do you think that this is going to be it? Uh, because we haven't had a ER price car yet, right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, and they just did off road. I think they're going to go on road. Woohoo! Fire shots at Uncle! No! On road, off road. That's, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I have a guess. No, I'm not actually fire shots. Is there even a standard tire one that I can choose from? Now I feel like I'm obliged to choose like a slick just to. You know, brushing it up a bit. But anyway, so now we got Uncle on the Peugeot, on the Pug. We got Android on the Donkey. Anybody else have any guesses? Because I don't have one yet. I got one. Let's go, Reese. What you think? Oh, boy. So, uh, <laughs> hey, Leo. Uh, yes, though? What do you think about getting a third Rimac? I you think really was... think so? Yeah, I really think because the last time that they had a major update within around like the midpoint, they gave out the guy Chiron Sport. Mm. I think th I mm. really was the think Chiron it's gonna in be the like middle so of the update though. No, it was Sport. I thought it was at the start. Yeah, it Chiron was the start. Yeah, I thought it was around like the mid start. I don't know. No, like, Chiron Sport was the first prize car during GE, if I recall. And uh, Senna was the first after ER. Like they do the big ones like right after the update yeah. drops. So I don't think it might be the remake too, but you can you can still you can still justify your case if you'd like. My prize car this could be is the next absolute garbage, car. but I will say this though, like if they like I have a strong gut on that. Like they could just go all in at this point. Hey man, I mean honestly, I'll there is one thing that might make me think it might be the Remax C2, right? Because this weekend, they know that everybody's just going to spend their load on Black Friday deals. And then, like, if they release this, they'll know that everyone has to spend their load again. Like, the week <laughs> true. after. Very true. So that, that is one thing to consider. So if you want, yeah, if you want to stick with the Remax C2, I, I'd say follow your gut. Are you staying with this car? Yeah, but... My memory was remembering prize cars from Tri Series is as bad as remembering names. I can never get it, and it's just gonna take you a whole entire year. <laughs> Reese, don't worry about it. You know what? I'm proud of you because the last two times we did after hours, you guessed like I think the first time was like it was supposed to be a rerun, and you guessed the first time, and then it was a rerun, and you guessed this. Uh, then it was supposed to be a rerun, and then you guessed the first time. So this time you actually yeah, got it, it was a right. rerun, and then all of a sudden you're like, nope. <laughs> so this time you got it right. So you know what? Like I said, there is a, uh, there is a case to make for the Remax E2. I feel like it's unlikely. I feel like the next update that ships out, this will be the next thing. And honestly, Leo's going to get it anyway, because if the next update is Japanese, and this is the first car they give, and it's Japanese requirements, like... No, the next update won't be Japanese. Hutch forgot they exist. <laughs> You think like, the Pikes Peak Suzuki? They're gonna be like, oh, isn't this Bulgarian? I, I, I don't know. Yeah, they'll be Japanese. They'll be like, oh yeah, Pikes. They're, they're probably like, oh, Pikes Peak's in America. <laughs> it's an American car. Honestly, though, <laughs> but like, yeah, um, 
it's a shout, but I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Follow your gut. That's a good one. Anyone else with any guesses? We now have re we we're going like all ER. We're 100 percent on ER. Looks like. My next guess is probably I got ER one. Too. You got one. All right. Well, uh, Corey. Oh, Corey, welcome back. You were gone for a second. I, I was hoping that you would I was come back. In. Um, I mean, but yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with the uh, RQ95, the the A. I think it's called Jesco. Oh, the E. Oh, yeah. There's only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I know that I have one viewer that like he's like a super huge Koenigsegg fan, and the I I know he will just Ree! at the fact that you said Jesco. It, it's it's Jesco. I, I'm just saying that for him. But yeah, I mean, 330 top speed. So why do you think it's going to be the Yesco? Well, I think it'll be something everybody wants to try to get. I don't know if they're one above that. That was called G Gamera or whatever it's called. The one right above that. I don't think that's a push right now. I, I don't, don't think that this is going to be a price car soon because they, they no. have the drivetrain wrong. It needs to be to corrected. That. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna go with the other one, the one there. Yeah. yeah. Wait, uh, Android. I said that right, right? Yesco. Yesco. Yes. Okay, all right. Imagine if it was actually yeah, Jesco and I, I said all that for nothing. No, you said three. Um, but yeah, two five ninety three hundred thirty top speed. I mean, this is the best car for the test pool, hands down. I don't think there's any other car in the game that would beat it, to be honest. Uh, I'm sure it has amazing MRA, and the top speed is the highest in the game. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, it's gonna. Here's one thing I would say is that the next price car is gonna be really damn good because they want you to spend after you just spent on Black Friday. That's stocks i guess but like yeah that's a that's a pretty good guess and of course i forgot to ask the main question corn what is your go-to order at mcdonald's double quarter pounder which let's is go let's go quarter pounder boys for thank life you. large <laughs> large fry and a large sprite thank you and, and and never forget the two apple pies gotta have two apple pies Dude, we need to go to McDonald's together one day, or we just need to twin, because I'm going to just get the same thing that you get. Like, that, that literally just sounds like my order. Um, and Reese, what's your McDonald's order, sir? Um, So I started using the McDonald's app, and like every week I get the deal where it's like, you can get like a Big Mac, a quarter pounder, or a 10 piece. And you, like, you get one, and you get one for free. So I'll get like a quarter pounder and a 10 piece with a uh, large coke. That's pretty nice actually, to get 10 piece for free. Uh, but anyone else with uh, predictions? I think it's just Leo, right? Uh, I think so. You got any bro? Yeah, I don't know, I've been I've been waffling. Um, but uh, I gotta say, you know what? I think, um, hmm, I don't know, see it's, you know what, actually. <laughs> you know what, I don't know, but you think? I think so. No, I've just been sitting here looking through all this stuff. I think it's gonna be the Bentley Hunad Yaris. Really? Oh, I love that, all right. Another Bentley? Yeah, cause they, well, cause remember, they previewed it like a month or two ago in a challenge. And usually it takes them a couple months to get it out, but it usually means that it's coming. Oh. You At know? least for the legendaries, not for the epics, because they can't release the, you know, like the, um, the Camaros, because those would fuck the game, but... <laughs> you saying that just made me decide on what I'm going to choose for mine as well. I don't know what our cute is, so we're going to have to go for a scavenger hunt, <laughs> but, yeah, you already your gave logic me logic is good. Yeah, it's good logic. The, the car is not interesting to me, but the logic is good. <laughs> the, the car is, like, almost as ugly as that alpha they're giving out for the challenge. Yeah. That's true, to be honest. Um, I would actually rather right. have this than the alpha, at least. At least I mean, it's yeah, got same. something going for it. Didn't someone test mm -hmm. the MRA on this? Like, it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it, it is good. It has to be good. Look, it's an RQ90 with 3.8 stock 0 to 60. That is true. That's slower than a Hellcat, to be honest. It has to be good. Probably like 110, 112. Yeah, I think it's in that range. Well, because it's, it's the Veyron engine just without the turbos, I believe. It's uglier than the Veyron, not gonna lie. <laughs> I know, and, and that's like an accomplishment, because god damn. <laughs> Yo, those lights, right? Don't they remind you of a Fiat Multipla? Mm, yeah. They do, there's a resemblance over there, I think. The whole car Loki does. 
Yo, they got the same energy. Built, That's what's going on. They just went to the aftermarket shop and got a Dar- <laughs> Dodge Charger grill insert and put it in. <laughs> to be honest, though. And, and, yeah. and they got like Fiat Multipla. Multipla? Multipla? Lights? Like. Isn't this a one seater? Oh, no, it's a four seater. It's a four seater? What? Oh, okay. Oh, is it supposed to be a luxury car? Maybe. How heavy is this? Oh, it's not that heavy for a Bentley, actually. Okay, so that just leaves me. Uh, Leo, what is your uh, McDonald's order? Uh, I usually get a double baconator with a large fries and coke. So you go to Wendy's. That's correct. <laughs> That's why I was confused. I was like, double baconator? I've never heard of that before. My I- friend invited me to McDonald's. I got dip now. <laughs> right. Wait, for real? Well, I'm not kidding, I actually have to go. Oh, okay, <laughs> see you, Reese. Have a good day, oh, man. Oh, wow. Dude, Love yeah, that. Nice. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know. If, if, if I'm going to McDonald's, I usually get a Frosty. <laughs> uh, Uncle, you might either love me or hate me for this, but I think the next one's going to be the Jag. XGR9. <laughs> well, it's, the, it's, it's not your fault if it is. Um, well, actually, you'd be happy just, because there is no way in hell that the next uh, prize car requirement is going to be ER. So, if this is the next prize car, that is a plus. That you're is not going to have ER to deal with, but you might have to deal you with convertibles. You before they do 5x ER. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I guarantee you, if the next final is ER, people are actually going to riot. So, <laughs> they're not going to do that. They're- I mean, I-, I would be okay with it, personally. <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. Double Remack. <laughs> what if they made it like ER rule drive or something? No, actually no, because it's still all going to be cutting segs and they've already done that for the the GTSR. Like, there's there's no way they can do ER again. No, they just... Uh, <laughs> what is this going to be? Um, but... <laughs> no, I'm scared. <laughs> what, you mean, what, what do you think it's going to be? Like, the requirements? Yeah, like, where, where are they going to pull out as requirements? Yo, be- honestly, I think they're going to pull things out of their butthole again. It's going to be a convertible. It's going to be GR convertible, so I'm going to say. <laughs> it's going to be GR. We, GR we haven't had GR convertibles. We have, we ha- we've had Italian Renaissance convertibles. We've had 2010 convertibles, I think. Robo Drive convertibles. They're, and like I said... So we- pull, up, pull up GR convertibles. Let's see what we're playing with. All right, let's can go. I just, can I just say in advance, miss me with that shit? <laughs> what, the car or the requirements? The G- GR convertibles? <laughs> yeah. GR, yeah. it's overall. Yeah, honestly, miss me with that shit. Uh, miscellaneous. So we're gonna have to look into convertible, and we're gonna have to... Now, I know the Turbo Flora is one of them, and I think you have one, right, Uncle? So that's a plus for you already. I have two. There you go. So non prize cars... Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, dude, I hope they, they, they have to do it now. They're going to have to fix that before they do that. But yeah, as you can see, only two legendaries. Florio, that is a sh- I, mean, I can see it I, happening. Because I can they only the final describe, with one legendary. I can only describe that requirement as shit ass. I can see this happening. <laughs> this is this can definitely happen. Because like for the, the prelims, they're just going to be like, Oh, let's give this out. Oh, let's give this out again. They did that for the Italian saloon or whatever the shit it was. So... <laughs> No, we'll give the and they can give out the M6 as the top tier prize because people like that car. Mm-hmm. They could. I feel like if they did like a, a prelims though, no, not prelims, qualifiers, because that's usually when they give out the epic, they'll give out this beauty. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they would. Oh, oh well, my, my, my Florios would need fuse material, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, man, this, this can be a requirement. We haven't had it yet. It, it's niche enough, and it's most importantly bullshit enough to be a requirement. <laughs> I have the hand already. I have I, the I Florios, so. one maxed M850, mm-hmm. and two maxed 3800 S's. Well, there you go. Oh, yeah, you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> and, and here's the thing, right? This they're gonna choose this like. Like, I know that they buffed this, like, a long time ago, and that's why they're going to choose it, because people can really, can't really complain about it anymore. It was buffed too long ago for them to, like, complain. Oh, it used to be an epic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, I think that this could be it, honestly. It's <laughs> it's really bad, and that is literally why I think it can be it. What else could it be? I mean, uh, you know what's really sad? If we replace German Renaissance with American Dream. Oh, dear. Oh, no. <laughs> You know, to be completely yeah, honest, I if, don't you add that never happening. if you <laughs> add in one extra ultra and one legendary, you know That's they correct. would make it 
uh, <laughs> a final requirement. That's just uh, that's gross. That's actually disgusting. Is it only eight cars? Yeah. Well, uh, no, I think there's. there's <laughs> if you count them, I guess. It's a, it's a 13 car final, three epics, one option. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good I idea. mean, we almost have that for the Nismo, right? Uh, yeah, but at least the Nismo had like, what, three Ultras or something? It was still bad. Yeah. It was Wait, was really the Nismo the, the Italian Saloon? Yeah, it was two yeah. epics. Yeah, had one, one legendary. <laughs> oh, gross. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this is not gonna happen. I would like it to happen because I have them all max, but that's not gonna happen. That's your own. But yeah, that's gonna be it for after hours, guys. I don't know how long this is, but uh, let's see. So Uncle says Pug. Um, Leo says Uh, Corn says. <laughs> you think I can say? You think I can pronounce that word? Uh, Corn <laughs> says Yesco. Android says. What did he say? Donkey. donkey. He said Donkey. Uh, Reese says Remax Two, and I say the Jag. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. I might have. No. Um, but yeah, I guess before we end the video, my order from McDonald's <clears throat> is indeed a double quarter pounder. Two double quarter pounders, actually. That's it. I don't actually get the fries uh, most of the time. I get I get two double quarter pounders. Sometimes even three. Uh, my favorite Shake Shack order is the Shack Burger, though. Anybody here like Shake Shack? Shake Shack's really good. I don't even know where a Shake Shack is. Bro, Shake Shack. We don't have any in Canada. <laughs> Wait, Leo, you've, you've been to Shake Shack before, right? Nope. It's literally like 250 nope. miles away from you. <laughs> Bro, I've never even seen one in real life. Bro, Shake Shack <laughs> is so good. Get the Shack Burger or whatever the other one is called where they have the mushroom, the portobello mushroom and the bacon. Oh, that is so good. How about in and out? Yeah. Is anyone here? Well, how, about, how about this? Yeah. Here's an even better idea. Yeah. How about I don't trap 250 miles each way for fast food? Dude, you know what? I actually did that before. Back, uh, back when I was in New York, I got a Shack Burger from Manhattan, right? And I went all the way up to Syracuse, which is 250 miles. I brought it with me Jesus. all the way just so I could give it to a friend. <laughs> and like, and like, by the time I got there, because it was a four-hour drive, the the burger was cold and he didn't eat it. So you know what he did? Because he's a design major. He was a design major of me before I switched out. He put it in um, <laughs> what is it called? Epoxy resin. If you guys know what that is. <laughs> I'll put a picture of it on the screen, and he still has it in his oh, room still his day. He literally preserved the, the burger that I gave to him. It's, I'll find the picture, I'll put it at the end of this video, that's gonna be it. But, hope you guys have a great day, thank you for everyone that's in the stream. Always a great time at After Hours. The sun's literally already up where I'm at. I might as well just go start my day, I don't care. But, hope you guys have a great day, I'll see you all next time. Remember, stay safe, wash your hands, and blossom out.